Uh, in this lesson, we are going to work on the HTML uh, for our settings page. So let's uh, make a new file, and this file will be settings.html. Okay, so Bootstrap 3, template, template HTML5. Okay, so do the same as before. Add HTTP here and change the title to settings and link to our default CSS. And within the body, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go into unapproved, uh, minimize this, copy that uh, whole code block and go into our settings and paste it here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get rid of active from comments and add here, set, okay, settings, uh, minimize our side menu, uh, minimize the header. Okay, so things will change uh, slightly here. So I'm going to get rid of the search. We don't need that here. And indent so I can minimize this. I'm going to delete everything here. So we only have uh, our content in a uh, to use. Okay, so um, what else do I need to do? Let's preview. Let's preview what we have. Uh, go into admin and uh, double click on settings. And that is what we have so far. So I'm going to uh, change um, all approved uh, to something more suitable. So we're going to change this. Uh, get rid of that. So it's okay for it to pull uh, to the left uh, so far. Um, okay. Uh, let me see. General blog settings. We don't need this and I don't think we need to pull left anymore. So we just need a page title. And that's just fine. Okay. And now what we need, we can start writing some of our HTML. Um, so we we'll start with a div and a class, I have a row, and within that row, I'm going to have another class, and MD, medium size of six, so it's half of the screen, and form, now within our form, we'll have a div, uh, setting, so this would be a class for the settings row. So that's fine. We'll give this a header. Okay, site name. And a, a subheader. Uh, this will be this uh, is permanently shown on the top left corner. Uh, of navigation. Okay, so um, I've done a few things. Let's reset the page and that is what we have. Okay, so this is this section here. So let's add our text um, text field. So we have a form group and within our form group, we are going to put an input text. Okay, so this gives us a few things, some most things we don't need. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll just leave the rest as it is for now. We'll um, do a bit more work on that when we start coding the back end side of things. Okay, so let's um, work on the post per page uh, section. So we change the H3 post per page. Get rid of the subheading and put control. Total number of blogs shown on the blog index page. Right. So this is not going to be a text. Uh, input 
So I'm going to change this. Okay, so we can say BS3 inputs number. Okay, so this will give us a, a way of incrementing, increasing and decreasing numbers. And I just leave the rest as it is. So when we click here, we could increment uh, numbers as we as we please. All right, again, we'll style it uh, to look like this um, when we start working the styling aspect. But for now, let's carry on. So the header uh, under maintenance. So this allows us to switch um, our blog on and off um, when we want to do some maintenance work. So redirect all requests to a holding page. Okay, and uh, here we're going to get rid of this and just put an input checkbox. Okay, so I'm going to say blog is under maintenance. So it gives us a checkbox and, and a label next to it. Okay. So that's fine. So we now have uh, prevent commenting. Again, we could just copy this, uh, paste it here, and let's change some of this. Uh, prevent commenting. So this allows you to switch on and off the commenting um, feature in your blog. So prevent or enable visitors from leaving comments, okay? Um, so we're going to change this. So we have a, a drop list of true, or yes or no, or true or false, something like that. Um, get rid of this and we could for now just say active uh, to save them. Okay, so we can have that like so. And we have tags visibility. Let's do that. Tags visibility. So sometimes we might want to prevent uh, showing tags on the blog page. So this would be a neat way of controlling that. So tags visibility on all blog posts. Okay, a cool feature might be to disable it on some posts, but um, you could do that. Uh, tags visibility is fine, active, and so on. So now we have uh, to do our button, submit button. So input submit and this will be save settings and reset the page and we have our HTML brilliant we've done uh, a few things here and there um, we haven't done forms in in a while so it was a good um, revision so that's good. So this is our settings page. It allows us to set um, system-wide um, things. Um, so this lesson is pretty much at conclusion. So see, that our settings is not um, behaving nicely. It's not shown as green. So I'm going to go into the side menu. Ah, we don't need active because it's always active. All right, so this is the end of our lesson. Um, in the next lesson, we'll um, style our settings page. So I'll see you in the next lesson.